Namaste friends. Today we are going to see the difference between array, list and dictionary. This could be one of your interview questions and you should be able to answer quite well the difference between these three data types. Okay, so let's get started and understand. Before that, in case you like this video, please hit on the like button. And please do subscribe to our channel because this is the channel where we bring you up-to-date knowledge about UiPath. So stay connected and please subscribe to our channel. With that, let's get started and understand the differences between these three variable data types. Okay, now to understand, let's start with array. So I'm dragging and dropping and assign activity. And here I'm going to create control plus K and I'm going to create a variable called array okay so I've created a variable called array and now with this variable how do you use an array so let me tell you let's say if I have to store different numbers so what I will do I'll click on the value and here I'm going to use two curly braces and let's say I want to store 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 or any kind of data it's not only integer but any kind of a data you want to store you guys you guys can go ahead and store it so now once this is done go to the variable and here here in the array go to the variable types and i am going to change it to array of t and here i am going to select the integer because the integer type of data okay done so once this is done the error is gone and i can i have created an array now when it comes to uh, list so list how do you declare again let's use a assign activity control plus k and i am going to create a variable control plus k and then create a variable so i'm giving a name called list okay the variable name i'm giving as list and here to create a list go to the variable panel same process all i have to do is go to browse for types and here i have to search for list okay so once you type list next you have to do is scroll down a little bit go slow very slow okay and here you should find something called system.collection.generic okay so i have to select list t and let's say i'm again going to deal with integer so i'm going to select int 32 and click on ok all right so i've created a list now what happens now array array just works just fine like that but for a for a list what you have to do you have to declare it so how will you declare it you have to initialize it okay so you have to write new list in bracket you have to say off string are you able to see it so new list of string so this is how you will be declaring a new list of string so this one oh sorry i am dealing with integer right so i'll be saying in in 32 in 32 done so now the list got created now the question comes over here how do i enter the data into a list okay so how do you enter for that all i have to do is once see there are two options you can create an um, uh, list activity uh, list variable in your variable panel let's say i don't want to declare it over here you can also use an assign activity so this is one way the other way is drag and drop the assign activity and here i am using the variable list which i have just created and here i can declare in the value option i can simply say the same way new list and then in bracket i have to say off in 32 because i am going to deal with integer data done this is what you have to write click ok this is another way of declaring the list so once your list variable is created right in array it was quite simple i am simply adding the data but here in the list all i have to use a add to collection okay i have to add to collection let's say i have to add five data then I have to use five times. So I will not do five times. Let me do two times, two data I am entering. So here, um, add to collection, all I have to do is I am going to deal with integer kind of a data. So here I am going to mention uh, the variable name, which is list. So remember to change the type argument, okay? Otherwise you will still have an error. So in the item, 
I want to let's say enter 10. Okay, done. So now no error. Same thing I have to repeat add collection. Now in the add collection, what I will do again, I'll put the variable name list. And here in the item, let me enter 20 this time. And here in the type argument, I have to say integer 32. Done. So that way, now what is the difference you can make? So the difference is the array is predefined. So you whatever data you need here, you have defined it. So it is a predefined date number of data. So I want 10 data, 5 data. What is the set of data? It's one dimensional. Both are one dimensional. Even list is one dimensional and array is also one dimensional. But what is happening in the array? I am defining okay 10 20 30 40 50 you store it in the array but here in the list i have a flexibility of adding as many as activity i need okay add to collection if i have to add 10 items i can add 10 different activities drag and drop and i can keep on continuing to increase the list okay so that is the benefit list is quite flexible during your project anytime you already had a list and you want to add some more data after processing you want to add some data so this activity will be useful are you getting it after you process some data that data you want to enter into the list so using add to collection you get the flexibility so this is what you have to explain in your interview i hope i am clear okay now we will move on to dictionary so how the dictionary works again i'll use assign activity okay now here i am going to create a variable control plus k and i'm going to name it as dictionary okay so i've created the variable dictionary but just by typing dictionary it won't become dictionary right so we have to go to variables and here in the variables all i have to do is click here browse for types same thing as we did it in the list similar way you type dictionary okay so once you type dictionary you will find system.collection this one okay system dot collection dot generic you have to look for always okay generic remember that dictionary t key t value so here in dictionary what happens this is a two dimensional data okay so in an excel just think column a column b there are two columns so this is a two dimensional data wherein array and list is one dimensional just one one column right so here what happens there are two kind of data set one is called key the other one is called value for example i want to store name and age or name and salary right so rakesh and his salary uh, rajesh and his salary john and his salary george and his salary so it is a two dimensional data so anywhere you need such two dimensional data then you will go for dictionary so let me show you how you are doing so the, let's say the first first the first field is string type and the second field is integer type so i have created that and click on ok so what happened this this variable got created which is now a dictionary kind of a variable so once you create the variable come back to the assign activity and here in the value field i have to declare it okay so this um, list and dictionary are the two kinds of one two kinds of data types which requires a declaration okay so or initialization new and i'm going to say dictionary of the same 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 way new list new dictionary all right of and here I, there are two kind of data okay so, so the first one was string and the second one i am going to deal with is integer 32 kind of a data done so this is how you will be declaring or initializing so once it is initialized now how will you add uh, uh, data into this one okay to add data into this one you have something called add to dictionary okay do you see this add to dictionary so this is the activity generally you will not have by default so to get this activity what you do here if you highlight this activity you can see this is coming from system dot activities active okay so this for this one go to manage package okay go to manage package go to official and here simply type microsoft activities uh, dot extensions okay this is where you will have to install the package and you should be able to now see this activity add to dictionary 
okay so once you have this activity all you have to do is click on add to dictionary drag and drop that and it will quickly prompt you uh, what kind of string in, th in 32 okay done now here very simple uh, give the dictionary variable name which is dictionary and here uh, let me add uh, the key so the key is let's say rakesh because it's a string put it in double quote rakesh and let's say his salary is let's say 1000 okay something like that as an example okay so 1000 is an integer right so simply type the number without double quotes done so this is one way the another way you can also add data to dictionary using assign activity even that is possible so let me show you all you have to do is use a use an assign activity and here in the assign activity the method is slightly different all you have to do in the to field okay so in the to field how you will be typing the, take the variable name which is dictionary and in the bracket write what key you want to enter so let's say i want to enter for john okay so the key name you have to enter in the to field click on okay and on the right hand side in the value field what you do simply type um, the number so what uh, let's say is 2000 let's say okay i'm entering it so this becomes the pair key and the value pair even this way we can add it now it is time to see the data okay we want to see now to see the array let's say i want to see the array so i will use a because it's one dimensional i'm going to use for each loop okay and in the for each loop i'm going to simply mention um, the variable called array and what kind of data the array has the type argument should be integer 32 correct all right now let's use a message box and i want to see that data so item dot to string done so i'm just running this loop for the array so if i run this what would happen all the array data would come one by one so 10 20 30 40 50 all that i have mentioned that is going to pop out okay so let's wait for a second okay so now you can see the pop out 10 20 30 40 50 so all the data has come okay similar way in case i want to run this loop for a list let's say okay so all i have to do is list again list has the integer kind of data but it has got only two data right i have added only two data here 10 and here i have added 20 okay so let's run it okay so it has come 10 and it has come 20 so you understood now array and list now it comes the dictionary now how do i see the dictionary data so dictionary data has got two columns right one contains the the key which has the names and the other is the value which has the salary so if you want to see this kind of a data this require a little bit a different technique so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a for each row okay so now what i want i wanted to pass the data from the dictionary variable right so what is my dictionary this is my variable so what is happening this dictionary um, what kind of a data you are going to uh, deal with string cannot be converted into system uh, data dot uh, data table okay sorry for this what i'm going to do uh, instead of for each row let me um, i want to see the data right so if you want to see data so let me use a message box and i want to see specific data uh, for rakesh what is the salary so how will i do it so for that i am simply using a message box and typing dictionary okay and here i am entering the key value for whom i want to see the data so let's say i want to see the data for rakesh okay and done and i am going to see the data so i'll simply say two string because uh, the pair value is integer right so i am making it two string so let's save it let's run it and see if i if i can find that specific 
data okay so you can see i got the specific data uh, thousand okay so this is this are the different ways of uh, fetching the data or difference so you must have understand the difference between array uh, the difference between list uh, the difference between dictionary and bit of example around how you are extract, extracting the data from that specific data type or specific variable i hope this must have helped you to understand things in detail so in an interview when they ask you some question you know what is an array you are able to pictureize what is a list and what is the benefit with the list why should shouldn't you go for an array uh, or why should you go for an array so you should you should have a proper uh, understanding and if somebody ask you dictionary how much you know about dictionary you know how the dictionary can be created right you just now saw how the dictionary can be created using a variable new dictionary of how will you declare it they will ask you the questions so you can say that new dictionary of uh, the key and the value pair how to add you have an activity called add to dictionary so they will ask you what if i will tell you not to use that activity is there any other way you can add values to a dictionary yes even using assign activity i showed you the example even using the assign activity i can enter the data into dictionary how can you fetch the data from the dictionary when i showed you how nicely you can fetch the data from dictionary so i have specific videos only on dictionary in case you wanted to learn little more any questions that might be coming in your mind so for that even i have got specific videos on dictionary specific videos on list and array even you can go and watch them okay thank you i hope this video would have added some knowledge uh, to your knowledge bank um, and it must help you to get into your rpa developer journey in case this videos are helping you please do like do not forget to like uh, please do like and also do let us know if you have any comments uh, or any feedback for our channel anything that you want to learn more anywhere you have questions um, it is sometimes very hard to answer all the questions that comes on the channel um, because there, when there are so many comments which comes and it is hard to even go through each one of them but i would try my best to answer as many as questions that you guys have also let us know in comments what you felt because those small small comments those nice comments when we read that encourages me to create more and more and serve more and more in this channel thank you so much guys you guys have a wonderful day and we'll meet in the next video thank you bye bye